Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we are looking at the show known as To Be Hero, Episode 1. So, I, I got from like two people asking me to uh, review to be, a, to be Hero, which by the way, that improper English like screws me so bad to say that title. So if I do say To Be A Hero, I apologize, but it is it is just To Be Hero. But um, yeah, this was something else. Um, <laughs> I, I've seen some weird shows this this reminds me of Space uh, Patrol Lulico in many ways, where this is just as weird. Um, so, basic story of this. We have Usan over here, who is a 38-year-old kind of, let's just say, lazy dude. He works as a toilet maker. Like, he makes the seats for toilets. And, you know, he but he, pro he goes off and says that he's some kind of grand hero, and he really is not. And, you know, his, his daughter, who apparently is, like, the only one that stuck with him because his wife apparently was tired of him cheating on her and stuff like that. Uh, kind of got sick of him and stuff like that left, of course. And so what happens one day, though, is when he's taking the crap. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting. He's on the commode. He falls into a secret realm, which in this realm, there is a guy that looks straight from a creepy version of Super Mario there telling him that aliens are about to attack Earth and they need a hero. And that hero will become him. Osan will become a hero. And in return, make him superpowered and transform his appearance and make him worthy of being a hero. His appearance then shifts to this. Yeah, that's what he looks like as a superhero. So he goes from, you know, Mr. Ladies Man to whatever the hell this thing is. Um, from then on, it's a lot of weird moments. We see the first signs of aliens where we see these, a small, like, rat creature or that looks like a roach on me, excuse me. Um, I said rat. It's, it's a roach. Uh, we also see a crab shrimp thing that comes down that's got a very big apparatus. We'll say that. This is 10 minutes of insanity. Like, honest to God, what the hell did I just watch? This was as weird as Al Oni, um, or excuse me, not Al Oni, um, what's this show called? Um, is it? Oh, it is Al, uh, Al Oni, the, uh, the, blue, the blue demon. Uh, this is just as weird as that. Yeah. I, I honestly will say that. Um, you know, shows like this, I, I find it hard to review shows like this because they're just kind of wonky and crazy. I mean, to watch something like this is, is one thing and then kind of do a big reveal about it or a big review is, is simpler. But to do episode by episode reviews for stuff that's just weird like this is kind of tough. So I'll say this right now. Um, this will probably be a one shot. Like I'll say, in my opinion, this is something if you like your crazy anime that's like super crazy and only short 10 minute burst type things, you might want to check this out. Um, I found it semi funny. I'm like, it wasn't that great to me, to be honest. It wasn't bad either. Uh, the animation's interesting. I'll say that right now. Uh, it's, it reminds me of a, like almost like a cartoon more than uh, an anime re realistically. But uh, there were some really funny jokes here and there. Uh, but overall, it was not my thing to be honest and i know some people might get pissed off at that and i do apologize because i know a few people said they that i would like this so much and they wanted me to review this and you know it's just that's how any comedy show is always kind of subjective it's one of those things that you know you might find it really funny you might kind of find it okay you might not find it funny at all i, I think i'm in between both where i do find this semi funny but i don't know if i want to do reviews for this every single day that comes out or every week that comes out uh in short bursts because i don't think this is kind of rever review worthy if that makes sense but anyways, guys and girls, if you do want me to review this, hey, listen, put in the comments, say, hey, we want you to review this, please do so. Um, you know, I, I'm going to say right now, really not much happened here besides we learned that this guy became a superhero, turning him into this. He can't reveal to his daughter who he is because every time he tries to, he says completely different lines than what he's actually trying to say. So that's going to be something probably like some kind of inner self that makes him where he can't talk about a secret identity. Um, but... You know, we haven't really seen too much of it. It looks like he has special powers and he is super powered indeed because he's able to shoot lasers out of his mouth and he's able to crush things with without too much effort and he doesn't feel pain. So he does have some superpowers. I just don't see very much beyond that from the first episode, you know, just kind of a setup. Uh, but, you know, like I said, short episodes, I really, I'd have to see some supreme level in this one, guys, because I don't know if I'd really want to do episode by episode reviews because especially because this comes out pretty late for me or well, actually, no, this actually comes out what? I think this came out way earlier today, so I might be wrong, and I apologize for, for uh, if I'm wrong about that. But, um, you know, I have all this stuff to review, so I'm like, yeah, on the fence with this one. But if you guys show some love to this, I will definitely think of reviewing more of it. As always, if you did enjoy this, please hit that like button, subscribe, share the video. You know the whole nine. I will talk to you all later. Have a great night, everyone. Bye-bye.